Jumpy jump jump jump. I'm almost finished, Sabrina. One more snip, one more clip, one more whoosh. Okay, Sabrina, I am finished. Everybody, I am finished. Oh, I love your hair. I love to watch you loving your hair. I love everyone in this beauty salon. Let's see, let's see. Well, what do you think? It looks terrible. I happen to think it looks good. Doesn't everyone agree? But this part flops over my eye, and this part makes my ears look big. I look like a monster! A horrible science fiction carnival freak with uneven bangs! You are being absolutely ridiculous. What's going to happen when I walk into school on Monday? I'm sorry about that. What do I owe you? Uh, you owe me nothing. Ponytails, pigtails, and bubble wrap packing restore this gal's hairdo to the do that she's lacking. Nuts! You have too much hairspray and gel. It's causing ectoplasmic interference. What's that supposed to mean? It means you're wearing that hair for tonight at least. Besides, I think it looks great. Oh, no! Who is that? It's Chloe. Open up. <gasps> One second. Uh-oh. Chloe and I had plans tonight. What am I going to do? I can't let her see me. <clears throat> hey, cool lampshade. Cute haircut, too. I look like a total dork. I am not going anywhere. But it's mall night. You never miss mall night. No way. I can't be seen in public. You go. I think Harvey really wants you to come. Harvey? <laughs> hey, cool lampshade. What are you doing here? I bumped into Harvey and invited him to hit the mall with us tonight. But... I know, the movies. Why don't we go to the movies? A nice dark movie with limited visibility? A movie sounds like a great idea. Let's all go. As long as no one sees me in public. <laughs> Just my luck. The entire world is here. No, oh, we'll never get in. Oh, look. Here comes Jim. <gasps> Hide me. Well, well. Look who's out on the town. I thought to myself, I recognize those people. Sabrina, I love, love, love that hat. Oh, thank you. It's just a little something I threw on. Let me try it on. No! I mean, you know, <laughs> it's part of my look tonight. Careful, or you might start your own fashion trend. Oops, my people are holding my spot at the front of the line. Good luck getting in. You'll need it. Scattered seating only yeah. for submarine huh? two. Scattered seating only. Oh, no! Well, why don't we see I was a teenage lobster zombie from outer space instead? What is that? It sounds awful. It's an old movie, a classic from the 50s in glorious black and white. Those are the only colors in the whole movie? Weird. <laughs> Hilda, Zelda, you go on ahead. We want to see Submarine 2. We'll all meet up at the end. Two tickets for I Was a Teenage Lobster Zombie from Outer Space. Seniors, please. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry, but only people over the age of 65 can get in for the senior citizen rate. So, we're over 65. Oh, really? Then, could I see some ID, please? See? <gasps> Signed by the Pharaoh himself. Uh, oh. Uh, Enjoy the show, ma'ams. <laughs> Cats get in free. I love this country. Ladies and gentlemen, moviegoers, listen up. I have breaking news. Oh, no. Huh? Submarine 2 is now officially 100% sold out. Great. Now what? I know. Let's go bowling. What do you think, Sabrina? Bowling? Hmm. stay here at the movies. But look, can't you read? Our movie is sold out. I have a plan. We buy tickets for Lobster Zombie in Theater 2. Watch the previews, then we'll get up and sneak into Submarine 2. That could work. 
but we'll be taking someone else's seats. Do you want to see Submarine 2 or what? Uh, well, yeah, but... But... Good, then it's settled. Three tickets for Theater 2. We're going to see I Was a Teenage Lobster Zombie from Outer Space. Uh, and that's all we're going to see. Just that movie. No sneaking out to see Submarine 2. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> Ow! Haha. <laughs> Stubbs. Stubbs. Show me your ticket, Stubbs. And they had better be the correct Stubbs. This ticket is not neatly torn along the perforation. There is, in fact, a small chunk of ticket stub missing. This is a sub stub. What are you trying to pull, lady? The girl at the counter must have... Wow, this is one strict movie theater. What do we do? Act casual and show him your stubs. We'll sneak back out past him during the previews. Proceed. Look, there's Hilda and Zelda. Let's grab those three together, right there. Then we can make a quick exit. And now, get ready to see a newly restored classic movie from 1955. With two seconds of added footage. Not for the faint of heart. a teenage lobster zombie from outer space. Beware his pinch of doom. This is gonna be good. <laughs> I heard he beat out hundreds of other actors to play the lobster role. I've always preferred shrimp rolls. <laughs> and now, our feature presentation. Let's make a run for it. Looks clear. There seems to be a tiny hole in the side of our submarine. Oh, but tonight is the big New Year's Eve party, Captain. Who you say the cancer the party? The party must go on! I will attempt to seal up the holes personally. Captain, the hole just got bigger! Get my 9mm caulking gun with the laser sighting. Aw, oh, man, that's exactly what he said in Submarine 1. Shh. Ooh, check it out. Three seats together. Let's see your ticket stubs for this movie. Our tickets? Uh, yeah, uh... Uh, our tickets? Um, you mean our tickets for this movie? <laughs> hey, isn't that Steven Spielberg's foot masseuse? Ooh, where? Ah! Freeze! We're trapped, and we don't have the proper stubs. Come here, little piggies. Can't hide from old Gavin. Sabrina, use some magic. Zap us out. No, Harvey will see. Here, <gasps> piggy piggy. That boy is so stressed out right now, you could blow a nuke and he wouldn't notice. Zap us back into the lobster zombie theater. Uh, okay, let me think. Like foxes to foxholes, like rabbits to thickets. Take us back into the movie for which we bought tickets. Well, we're sure in the movie for which we bought tickets. <laughs> He'll never look for us here. <laughs> What's going on? Where are we? And why is everything in black and white? You're probably experiencing a uh, hallucinatory fallout from eating a uh, bad movie hot dog. <laughs> Plus, this movie is uh, interactive, state-of-the-art technology. Interactive? Cool. I don't remember having a hot dog. Look at that! Our Sabrina on the big screen. Good thing she got a haircut. They were just here. They were here, but now they're not. I am in control. I am in control. I am the king of this theater. I repeat, the king. Uh, how about you and me going steady, Peggy Sue? Well... Golly by gosh by golly, Ricky. I don't know if I want to go steady. <laughs> Poodle skirts, this is a horror movie. 
Well, golly jeepers, get a load of those kids! The lobster zombie's coming! The lobster <gasps> zombie's coming! The lobster zombie is coming! The lobster zombie's coming! Look out for that caption! Oh, ouch! You know, being in the movies is rough. I think I'm ready to go home now. That was totally awesome. Oh, I love that. <gasps> Look up in the sky! A real live UFO! Wow! This movie would be fun if we were back in our seats. Let's concentrate and zap ourselves out. One, two, three. Oh no, why won't your magic work? This is a cheap B-movie, no special effects budget. Magic? What are you guys talking about? Never mind, Harvey. Watch the nice UFO. Hey, you three kids in color, you'd better hide. The lobster zombie will want to know who the new kids in town are. You don't want to mess with him. I'm warning you. This movie is even worse than I remember. Maybe we should try and zap them out. <laughs> <laughs> he really is a monster. Listen up, you guys. When I say go, let's all run for it. <gasps> It changes with whatever we do. Uh, like, let's run fast. Now slow motion, listen. Oh, totally cool. What's not cool is that that monster is heading our way. Uh, how did those kids get that? <gasps> I'm in control. I am the king. Move, spaceship. You go now. This is the coolest, coolest movie. What do we do now, Sabrina? Don't worry, I've had some experience with this. Some of my closest relatives are monsters. We just have to make friends with him, let him know he's safe with us. Don't let the monster get you! <sighs> Bad monsters taking more victims. This is a calamity. We can't let him destroy our community. We must destroy him before he destroys us before midnight tonight. But how will we do it, Mr. Peggy Sue? We've tried everything. That lobster zombie cannot be conquered. I have an idea. What are lobsters most afraid of? Why, I don't know, Mr. Peggy Sue. That's why you're a nuclear physicist and father of the lovely young Peggy Sue. The arch nemesis of lobsters everywhere is drawn butter. Of course, butter. Let's gather around all the butter in town and start to melt it. Melt, my friends. Melt like the wind. Is that your name, Freddy? Uh-huh. My name's Sabrina. This is Chloe and Harvey. Yo, sup, G? Don't forget, it's important to make friends with Freddy. Chummed. Let's go. Big ride through town. Uh, a ride sounds like it could be pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on to your hat, Sabrina! Oh no! Where is he taking them? Be careful, kids! That's what I love about the movies. No commercials, just when you're about to get to the good part. Who is this? Your girlfriend? Ow! Hey! She was my girlfriend. I don't want to talk about it. You're not talking broken monster speak anymore? Hey, he's talking like a regular kid. I am. Was a regular kid. But you look like a lobster zombie. What happened? Long, sad, sad story. You can tell us. We are friends. Well, once, before I was a monster, I was just good old Freddie Addison, hopelessly in love with Peggy Sue. Jeepers! Uh, 
Can I walk you home, Peggy Sue? That'd be just swell, Freddy. Swell. Yeah, swell. But I was always so clumsy and dumb. Every time I tried to talk to her, I'd make a fool of myself. Didn't help that Peggy Sue's dad, Mr. Peggy Sue, thought I wasn't good enough for his daughter. I tell you, honey, I don't think that boy's good enough for our daughter. But finally, one day, I had the courage to ask her. Uh, want to meet me tonight at uh, make a point at, at 8 o'clock? Okay, 8 o'clock. I started to get ready for our date, and I hated what I saw. <gasps> I could never be worthy of Peggy Sue. If only I looked like movie star James Delinquent. So hours before the date, I stopped by the laboratory of mad scientist Dr. Mixer. I want to look like movie star James Delinquent. Then I know Peggy Sue will love me. I know the perfect concoction. A bit of this, a splash of that, a teaspoon of this. And now you are ready for the transformation machine. But, just my luck, at that very moment, Dr. Mixer's pet lobster crawled in. get this spaceship from? Uh... Don't confuse him. It's not his fault he's in a movie with an illogical plot. Oh, sorry. So what happened to Peggy Sue? Freddy Addison never showed up that night, but Freddy the Lobster Zombie did. two back together. Where is she? There she is. There's Peggy Sue. Lower the spaceship. <laughs> hey, Peggy Sue. Don't be scared. I have great news about someone you haven't seen in a long time. Freddie Addison. Freddie Addison? I thought he never wanted to see me. After he never showed up that night, I, I thought he didn't like me or well, the way I looked or... Oh, boy, have I got a story for you. There's the spaceship, and there's my daughter, Peggy Sue. Follow me. Careful with the butter. I brought margarine. Is that okay? <sighs> so all this time, that lobster monster was... Hey, Peggy Sue. It's me. Freddy. Freddy! Freddy, I missed you so much. There's the monster. He's got my Peggy Sue. Get him! Everybody! Shh! Listen! The lobster zombie is not going to hurt Peggy Sue or anyone. He's not really a monster. He's really good old Freddy Addison. That's not Freddy Addison. Are you crazy, young lady? That's... A monster! And he's got my daughter! Daddy, it is Freddy. There was a terrible mix-up with a mad scientist, and he wound up looking like this. But I love Freddy no matter what. It doesn't matter what you look like, whether you're a lobster or whether you think you got a bad haircut. You're still you, and that's all that matters. <laughs> this is the best movie I have ever seen in my entire life. Could this plot be any hokier? You wouldn't think so, but then...
I am the Dr. Mixer, the local mad scientist. I have been building this atomic nutcracker for the last several years. I will show you all that this is really Freddy Addison. <gasps> I've had enough. Let's zap her out. Well, that was totally awesome. My first interactive movie. Well, let's do it again. I don't think so, Harvey. I'm all movied out. What do you say, Chloe? I say we go bowling next time. I'll say one thing for you, Sabrina. You spend the night inside a movie and you still manage to keep that silly hat on. You're right. This hat is silly. It doesn't matter what you look like. Hey, everyone. Hey, Jen. Check out my new do. Just a moment. Can I have your autograph? Thank you. Now, movie star or not, you three kids snuck in, and because of that, you have to pay the consequences. Consequences? <laughs> I want this floor spotless, absolutely spotless. Sabrina, are we in the movies right now? This is real life, Harvey. It's just real life. <laughs> 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 da -da 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 -da. 